Hi guys, um, I've got a quick video here. I'm just going to show you a little trick you can do with the Vastel TV. Now there's a lot of people on the internet say that you can't recover software from a TV. And the people who say this, they've no idea what they're doing. Because in fact you can recover software from a TV. And I'm going to give you a little demonstration here using a laptop, a USB stick and um, a couple of software programs I've got. So first, it's a Vestel TV 17MB62 chassis, that's the back. We've got SCART lead here connected up to a skybox, just so you can see the TV's working. That's the TV on Sky now. Um, I'm just going to unplug the SCART lead from the skybox. So we'll have a, a blank TV like that. Um, right now the first thing you need to do you need a USB stick I'm going to put this into this computer here there we go um, I don't know if it will come up yeah it's come up it's a blank There's absolutely nothing on the USB stick so I'm going to load a program first onto the USB stick now it's trying to hold the camera while I'm doing it at the same time. I'm going to load this program on. Send to flash drive. And just um, check the program's actually in the flash drive. Um, start my computer. Uh, flash drive. Yeah, we've got the program there in the flash drive. Right. So I'll get rid of that take the flash drive out of there that's the TV no video because I've unplugged the skybox I'm going to put the flash drive into the USB on the back of the TV like that um, right it's come up with media browser we don't need that we need to exit that now so I'll just press menu Right, I'm going to put this, put this now into the service mode, which is um, menu four seven two five. Right now, take a look at this. That's the service menu. It's Vestel. If you look at the bottom there, the TV is a Toshiba brand. If you look in the service menu, it confirms the Toshiba, uh, the customer who has requested the set is Toshiba then the service menu Toshiba on the front Toshiba on the screen right now watch this with remote control we're going to go down to USB settings and we're going to down download the software out of the TV onto the USB stick using the program on the USB stick so go down and then press OK it'll come up with a message please wait that's now downloading the software out of the TV onto the USB stick so pull out the USB stick pull that onto the computer and you should see yeah there are the software files I've downloaded out of the TV which people say you can't do now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this one here um, open with Hex Workshop and we're going to move down here and we're going to edit a line of the software and that's if we can do it at the same time as holding the camera not easy um, Right, let's get the address um, 3862 3862 address Right, that's it. I'm going to make a simple software change. I'm going to change this line of hexadecimal codes to a different code 
So here we go, um, get the buttons. Uh, we want 46, 55, 43, 4B, 5, 9, 4, F, no, made a mistake with the 4F, it should be, um, oh yeah, no, that's right, we need to change that one there, 41, we need to change that to 50, Need to change that to 55 in hex. Right, so that's the change made. There, it's highlighted in red, so you can see it's changed. So what I'm going to do now is get rid of that. Save changes to MB62. Yes. Make a backup. No. And then I'm going to put the file we've just changed back into there put that file back into there that file back into there I'm going to rename this like that get rid of that and pull out the USB stick that needs to go straight back into the TV there and the software changes I've made now we're going to read we're going to write them back into the TV set so it's the same procedure as before go down to USB operations press the OK button software's writing in it takes a few minutes and that's the software the software changes I've made I've gone back into the TV. Now if you look down there it says Toshiba and it says customer Toshiba. The software changes haven't taken place yet because we've got to reboot the tally. So back around the tally, put the USB in the back of the tally like that and we're going to go, we're still in the service menu, we're just going to go move down USB operations and we're going to rewrite the software now back into the tally that I've modified so press the button OK it'll take a few seconds you can see it hanging while it's writing and then it's back to the service menu if you look down there Toshiba name customer Toshiba receipt still on the screen there's been no software changes that's because we have to reboot the TV before the change will actually take place so down there switch the TV off switch it back on just wait for it to come on um, I'll show you it's still plug the skybox in there Ah, that's it. So it's still on the sky. I move back and then you can see it's still connected to the sky box here. Unplug that. I'm going to put the TV back into the service menu now and hopefully we'll see the software changes that people say you can't do. Menu 4725 and that's it. If you look very closely it still says Toshiba on there but now where it said Toshiba on the front of the TV customer Toshiba we've changed it to uh, a little known TV Japanese TV brand called Fuck You there you go Toshiba Fuck You so that is how you extract the um, information from the panel using a computer program onto a USB stick USB stick in the computer modify the program and then use the USB stick to write it back into the TV and if you look on a lot of these forums on the internet 
you get people talking a load of rubbish and they'll say you cannot extract or rewrite data to Vestel TV sets but that's all you need program a USB and um, better actually change this back to uh, Toshiba before we send it back to the customer and there you go that's how it's done five minute job nice and simple thanks for watching